it's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? What? Bigby's here. Oh. This is a surprise. Why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, alright? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey. Wait a minute, that's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. What are you complaining to him for? Give me a break, Toad. This is your own damn fault. You buy a car, but you don't save money for this? And what happened to that car, right? Huh? Let's talk about that. Smashed to a tin cane because you had to play rough with the woodsman. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? It's not worth it, Toad. What? Sometimes it's worth it? You know, depending. I mean, I don't even know what he's talking about. When has a crooked man loan ever been worth it, Jack? Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Just do what I fucking say, all right? Leave the coat, find another way. Fine, I'm leaving. But I'm taking the coat with me. Toad, if you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? Have a good day. Drop by anytime. Believe me, Toad, you can always go to the farm. He really grows on you. Look. I told you I work here, and I do, okay? So don't look so surprised. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this... Really, why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. Yeah, it's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the crooked man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me, and I'd like to have a little chat about that. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe, and that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. You wouldn't mind if I look around for a bit, then. And what if I did mind? Uh, got it. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so, uh... I'd really rather you not physically be here if he comes back. You know, he's not what I'd call a friendly fellow. I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, 
I need to track down that psycho who had it last. It's not here. You better hope not. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. Alright. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Just my luck. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... <laughs> Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. I don't. Really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Last chance. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Gren said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is are his you... axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you. I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum? So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Uh, he wanted to know where- Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. If I were you, I'd watch my tone about now. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a sting, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning? Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for Wayward Fucking Creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Go fuck yourself, Jersey. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> uh, 
Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go like it went with you. Ah! You fucking motherfucker! Oh, motherfucker! Oh. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. <laughs> okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything. Do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. 
Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh. Oh. He ain't going anywhere. Will Mary be there? You want me to try you a picture? I don't fucking know. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? Goody grand. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. And get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Bigby Wolf? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at, uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I'm gonna take a look around. You don't mind. I... 
Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. For such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. Listen. Just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Men's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary in those Porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would 